time from the European Commission, which is uh, one of the most uh, important institutions of the European Union. I'm uh, uh, working in the DG Education and Culture, and specifically in the unit responsible for vocational education and training and adult learning. Well, Switzerland has one of the best uh, vocational education training systems in the world. You have, uh, you have achieved something that we are trying to achieve at the European level with other countries. I mean, we have countries that have very sophisticated uh, uh, vocational education training systems in Europe as well. Germany, Austria, Denmark, Finland. Uh, but of course, the Swiss have uh, quite a lot to uh, uh, be proud about because you have an excellent apprenticeship system which allows uh, to reduce the mismatches that we quite often find in Europe between what the vocational education and training system is providing and what the labor market is requiring. And in Switzerland, the apprenticeship system is quite well developed in the sense that young people usually have a very uh, uh, hands-on activity when they are, while they are studying vocational education and training, and it allows them to be better prepared for the labor market. And I think it's one of the reasons why uh, Switzerland, in fact, is one of the lowest uh, unemployment rate for youth. Be uh, for youth. It's difficult to, for example, come to Switzerland, see what are your best elements and simply replicate this to other countries. It's not possible to do because the Swiss system exists uh, because of institutional arrangements between the social partners, the role that the social partners themselves think they can have in the economy and their responsibility of helping uh, the education system provide the right skills. So it is difficult, you know, these are things that are more culturally, if you want, than really, you know, just a matter of trends planting the uh, Swiss system to another. What we have to do is to try to understand what are the best practices that are in place and then expose them to the other member states and for each one to see of what is being uh, uh, highlighted as the best practices, how they can somehow learn from this and try to adapt it to their national reality. Well, I was very impressed, first of all, the, the amount of young people that I saw all over the place. I think it's really remarkable and the enthusiasm of the people that were competing. I think it's, it's very important. But, you know, skills competitions, I would say, are important for two reasons. The first one is to provide the participants with uh, uh, opportunity to showcase what they've learned and to understand how others are doing and compete among themselves to really improve what is being done by vocational education and training. The other important element is attracting more people and this is an excellent showcase. I mean the hundreds of, of young people or maybe even thousands that were looking at how these things happen, exposing them to various opportunities that the uh, vocational education and training system can give and I think in the end it increases the social perception that people have, both parents and even students, of what they can gain by engaging in vocational education and training.